so in this lecture we are we will take a simple uh, brief uh, introduction of uh, finite state automata and we will see uh, how can we implement the finite state automata uh, in natural language processing or computational linguistics so for these these slides i have uh, uh, taken help from the book speech and language processing written by jurafsky and martin uh, before uh, going further uh, let's discuss formal languages and informal languages the formal languages are actually those languages uh, which uh, strictly depend upon the rules specified in the form of regular expression or in the form of finite state finite state automata so formal or regular languages are actually uh, artificial languages that we uh, define ourselves to uh, help us in solving uh, computer science problems uh, for example this is a regular expression and this regular expression can produce just two words cap and cat so for this language we have defined strict rules here in the form of regular expressions and all the words produced by this language will follow these rules whereas in natural languages uh, the languages are developed naturally like english or punjabi or chinese japanese and the rules are not defined before the production of language the rules are actually derived by studying the patterns that a natural language follows and as you know with the passage of time the uh, all the natural languages keep on evolving and changing and similarly the grammar of natural languages keeps on changing uh, because grammar depends upon the language the language natural language doesn't depend upon the grammar and so this is just a, a brief uh, discussion about natural language and formal language and next we uh, study uh, finite state finite state automata uh, let's start with a simple example and we want to draw a finite state automata uh, for a very si simple language that is sheep talk uh, and you know uh, sheep can pronounce just uh, one word uh, of course it can uh, uh, you can say utter this word with more length but but the word is the same so the word will be ba or ba or with more length so uh, we are going to uh, draw a finite state automata for uh, this language which has which follows a strict pattern and the pattern is it always starts with b and it always end with a and the minimum uh, let in count of a's between them is 2 so it must contain at least two a's between b and the sign of exclamation so uh, to define to draw the automata we will we start with the minimum uh, uh, possible word of that language and we will draw a count to this word and then we will modify that automata to cater all these words so this is the word b a a that this one and at the after second a if we get the sign of exclamation the input word will be will be accepted of course we may have more than two ways before this this uh, character so we can introduce a loop over here on the state 3 uh, of course it is a deterministic finite automata uh, there is a difference between deterministic finite automata and non deterministic finite automata we will study them in detail in the next lecture but for now you can take it as in finite uh, deterministic finite automata we have just one path for every input so like here the input a 
we have just one path that it will remain at Q3 and here again we have just one path but in non-deterministic finite automata we may have more than one path at some state for this single input like uh, you can note here here that at state Q2 for the same input that's A we have more than one path I mean at Q2 if we read the character A we can move towards Q3 or we can stay at Q2 so here uh, while traversing this type of automata we feel confused because we do not know at Q2 whether we should move forward or we should stay at the same state so these type of automata are called uh, non deterministic finite automata so far now we are uh, just studying deterministic uh, finite automata and and of course this this automata uh, is uh, represent this this type of language but uh, normally for the purpose of completeness uh, we uh, draw transition uh, transition for every possible uh, input letter at every state like at state Q Q0 we should provide path for all the letter of the letters of this language and these lang this language has three letters B A and sign of exclamation so at Q0 we will should also draw transitions for A and sign of exclamation and at this this state if we read A or sign of exclamation the input will be rejected so here we draw a rejected state it's also called sync state similarly at state Q1 if we read B we will end up here at the dead end or at the sync state and if we read sign of exclamation again we will end up here similarly for these uh, circles are so if we complete this diagram we will get diagram like this this is a uh, example of finite state automata with a completely drawn transitions for all possible inputs for every given state <coughs> Uh, actually finite state automata is a pictorial form of the rules for any language uh, any formal or regular language we can also define or lay down these rules in the form of a table and that table is called transition table in transition table we uh, list down all the possible states in the first column and then we uh, define column for all the possible inputs and we try every state for every possible input and check what would be the next state so at state 0 if we get B we will move to state 1 but if we get any other character we will go to the sync state or we will be uh, or the system will crash so uh, this this sign is actually for crashing I mean we do not have any output states and this is zero this is not zero and the next thing is how can we uh, program a finite state automata uh, there are three different approaches to program a finite state automata the first one is ad hoc approach where we uh, simply uh, follows the conditional programming rules like if and else uh, this is a very uh, dirty way of coding because for finite state automata we uh, we uh, may have uh, come across different conditions and we may have uh, we might may, may have tried nested if else code so in that scenario the code will become very much complicated and complex so it is not at all a recommended approach a more uh, clean a clean and tidy uh, approach is switch case approach where we can uh, nest the switch case statements inside a loop it is better than uh, ad hoc approach but still it is uh, not recommended because it's very much uh, 
you know you, you can say hard-coded approach it depends upon the given finite state automata and for every new finite state automata we have to write a new code the third is table driven approach and it is feasible uh, more feasible than above these two approach approaches because here we do not need to write a code for every new uh, finite state automata we will simply use the uh, previously generically written code we will just change the transition table and the rest of the code will remain the same so uh, let's see an example uh, uh, a simple algorithm that was written given in the book that we are following uh, how this algorithm works this is the input tape uh, we are at index 0 this is 0 index this is 1 this is 2 3 4 and at index 0 we, we are at state q0 and at state 0 if we read b we will move to state 1 so we move to state 1 and at state 1 if we read a we move to state 2 and state 2 if we read a we move to state 3 and at 3 state 3 if we if we read the state exclamation sign we will move to state 4 or if we again read this a we will stay at 3 and then again if we read this sign we will be in the state 4 and 4 is the acceptable state and the algorithm for this this uh, uh, transition table and automata is simply as we have uh, traversed this tape there will be a loop and uh, will, will, uh, if the uh, and we will keep on reading this tape and if we have read at the end of the tape we will check either either the state of the automata is accept state or not if we are in the accepting state we will return that the input has been accepted and if we have reached at the end of the input tape but we didn't come across the accept state the input is rejected otherwise if we have not yet reached at the end of the input tape uh, we will consult with the transition table and if from the transition table we are not able to find next state like if at state 1 we read b we have no output state at that case we will again return reject as the input has been rejected the machine has been crashed otherwise we will find the next state and we will return so this loop will continue and uh, until either the input is accepted or checked.